All right, everybody. So what's up? Doing back though today. I actually got a quick Dragon Ball Z Dragon Battle video I want to do. I'm still freaking used to saying that type of stuff. But um, yeah, though we did get some new. Um, JB kind of like get a download of news. If this, if the day download info still comes out, I'm still gonna do a video on it and stuff like that. I always tend to do all this stuff. But we did get a lot of new assets in the game. Like we got Christmas Goku coming to JP. We already kind of knew that already. Like with the um, you know, not really JP update, but we already kind of knew that with um, because I did do a separate video on that for JP. They were getting like a Christmas bell. Um, we still don't know what that kind of is for though and then after that we have all the i kind of messed her out there all the new assets for the new um, spare bomb super saiyan goku that's coming to jp you know probably on christmas around i want to say um um around like here ish i want to say about a good week or two um week or so um because we are new because every year they always do the double rates banner like with ll trunks and my um super saiyan 3 ll goku typical stuff like that uh, that general tower down here from the world tournament's getting awakening it looks like kill and are gonna be from the world tournament as well they really do look, look like world tournament rewards i feel like this should be super saiyan not really base form because we already have a good base form kill and Khalifa already broken in the game um but yeah i feel like Golden and jp are gonna have like their christmas banners around the same time um and stuff like that well global's gonna be kind of ahead you know for the part two. Oh, they can do it at the same time. Oh, yeah, so we have Mr. Boo right here, also getting his Doken Awakening. Um, basically the tech one from the Ultraman Prizes. A long time ago, but I'm thinking you know, a lot of people think these are the awakening for the new kill, for the old Kill and Khalifa like, they came up from LR Kill and Khalifa banners, but it's not that. Trust me, it's not. If it was, I'd be like, yeah, they're, they're now they're like, probably one of the most two busted SSRs, like TRs in the game. But no, I'm gonna go over everything down here really quick. Um, great to also tr um, translate all this stuff, so yeah. Um, so for Kale, look like she does super tech. Oh, she's a tech type. Super tech, she plus two, everything up 70%. Nothing that, nothing that special. Raises attack and defense, it causes supreme damage. Nice, that's broken, because she's gonna keep raising attack and defense. That's really good, she's broken. So this is universe 6 category ally is attack, um, attack plus 20% and defense plus um, 10%. Pure Saiyan's category um, attack plus 10% and defense plus um, the attack plus 20% and defense plus 10%. Plus additional attack defense uh, plus 120. But we're the additional attack, um, additional super attack if there's an um, ally that has um, Khalifa attacking in the same turn. So basically, I don't know. I think it's just probably like base form Khalifa. It doesn't say Super Saiyan or anything like that. Probably just like a regular. Probably you could use that base form SSR Kale for that. So it links our same way of race, same. Um, same lineage, um, rival duo, Battlefield Divas, Universe 6, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power. Okay, yeah, she definitely feels like a World Tournament card. Um, categories are Peppy Gals, Universe Survival Saga, um, Pure Saiyans, and um, Universe 6. She's already broken because that defensive stat and like that. Yeah, she definitely is a World Tournament unit because they are kind of going in this route where they do or they're buffing two different categories at the same time. So Cleveland's Int. Okay, it's the right thing. Int, never, like, it's been a minute. So she basically have the same leader skill as um, Khalifa, I mean, Kale, just for any types. So, okay, basically the same thing. Okay. So it looks like she does attacking defense plus 60%, plus an additional attack plus 10%, pure, um, um, skin for six category ally on the team gains a high chance to evade enemy super attack, which is always has been um, for every kill card, kill, Khalifa card in the game almost at this point. From the additional um, super attack, if there's an ally that has Kale attacking the same turn. So basically, they want you guys to link these guys together. I feel like they're gonna be a duel. Like they have done this in the past for Global and JP, but they had two world tournament prizes like um, the Pan and I know the Goku for like the four year anniversary. I know technically that Goku was like released years and years ago, but still technically kind of counts because he is technically a world tournament prize. You can get and stuff like that so um yeah that I mean they're both broken like they're both kill, kills better than cool at this point i am saying that i don't care she's still a snack for me but still uh, I'll be like, oh my gosh, you saying that? Go. I don't care. I like Kale. She's amazing. She's awesome. Don't judge me. Cyber Tales also getting his awakening. Same thing for basically the same leader skills. Kale raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage with medium chance to stun. Cool. Um, right here, it does attacking defense plus 120%. When there's um, when launching, a, I thought I said laughing a super attack. I was like, you're gonna laugh at a super attack? Okay. When um, launching a digital super attack, um, attacks um, also connected attack, additional attack and defense. So basically, I guess every time it gets hit, basically every time the attack gets connected to barely just burglar attacks get connected. To additional attack and defense plus twenty percent for each attack received, up to eighty percent. Broken as heck though, all of them are broken. So his um, links, I think it runs over like the same like the side, all the cyborg tiles, uh, sharing the limit, revival, dot on ray, um, coward, brutal beat down, supreme warrior, crane, school. So those categories are resurrected warriors, world tournament, and simply. She has a sibling? Probably that um other guy, that other she has a sibling? 
Okay, I do go back and watch Dragon Ball. So, so Mr. Boo also Joking Awakens. He does the same thing though. He just all, he just does all types and everything up 50%. So he raises his defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and lowers attack. So basically he's Cyborg Tail's opposite. Attack and defense plus um 10%, uh, 80%, changes Ant Key's fears along with any um random. So I guess nukers are going this route now, or just randomly changing cards along with another random type of key sphere. So I guess every nuker, like the next generation nukers are gonna be like this. That's why I call them next generation nukers. Attack and defense um plus 10% recovers 10 um I do a 10 million 5,000 HP um life for every rate of rainbow keys for attain. Not bad though, that's pretty broken as well because um you know you can use like you know rainbow and stuff like that. So it's linked on innocence, shocking speed, revival, master of magic, Majin, infinite regeneration, sharing limit, sky girls are world tournament, resurrected warriors, Majin Buu saga. Even though technically Mr. Boo was good, even though he's at it was technically after like battle of gods and stuff like that, but you know, official life forms and worthy rifles. The so global does have that category early now. So yeah, all of them are broken. Killing Cliff are definitely deserving world tournament cards. They probably are gonna be like some of the best, best world tournament cards in the game. Um they right here I know um JP is kinda getting like, you know, with the update and stuff like that. I know I heard as I'm just recording, I think the update and stuff like that is already up. So yeah, um not really up, but it's you know, stuff like that. Um I heard we're getting like more equipment items up here. So yeah, like equipment and token. Kind of broken because that's insane. First of all, that's insane. Like just equipment and doken, like you know how Legends are, does like equipment, that's insane. Also the assets are also right here as well, um, for like all the equipment. So yeah, they kind of look like material, potential orbs. So I guess this one's going to be beginning, middle and like, um, you know, you can put like three of them on at the same time. So yeah, that's insane. You, I guess course lock and stuff like that. And Goten and Drinks are down here as well. That's broken, by the way, that's super really broken because that's just broken. I think this is the equipment menu that I already opened already. Yeah, basically same thing. Okay, same thing I opened. Also, we are getting more stickers as well, I guess, for the equipment. Kind of like how Legend does, like, when they take it right from the show. But Duncan can make their own thing right there. So, yeah, equipment is coming. Um, yeah, I guess shout out to you, Thieving6. The, the, I'm not going to try to pronounce names. But, um, I probably even said that. I probably said that completely wrong. But, yeah, that's all just stuff I want to go over though today. Yeah, equipment coming to Duncan is kind of insane because, you know, that's pretty much brokenly there right there. So yeah, um, also all the new stuff is cool as well. So yeah, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great life, all that cool junk. Um, lots of, like just new little news. They definitely are world tournament cards. Definitely do world tournament cards. So yeah, they're probably like I want to say one and two. Because Hind, Gohan, the AGL Gohan, the guy Joking Awakening, kind of like on global right now. But yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, great life, all that cool junk. See you guys later. Peace out.